This video is going to cover the offset command. I really like the offset command. I used to use it for everything. Now tracking has kind of taken over some of what I did offset for, but I still use it a lot. Um, it's really good for finding locations of things. Um, what it does is creates a parallel line or a parallel circle a certain distance away from another one. So offset is this command here. And the first thing it asks us is for our offset distance. So how far do we want to offset? You can see we also have the option for through, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to offset, I'm going to say 0.5, enter. Now it asks us for the object to offset. So I want to offset this line, pick that. Now which way? I don't have to try and get exactly at where 0.5 is. I just need to tell it somewhere on that side. See? Let's pick this. I want it to go down, so somewhere on that side. I can pick that, keep going as much as I want. I can pick a circle, offset it outside. Pick a circle, offset it inside. And I could keep going as much as I want. And each time it's going half an inch. If I hit enter, I can get out. Again, enter gets me right back in. And I'm back to changing my size. So now I can say one. And I can start offset offsetting things at one inch. So that's kind of the basics of offset. So if I go back to offset, I, the through option, so I T for through, enter. I can pick that circle, and I pick that point right there. It's going to offset that circle so it goes through that point. Pick there and go through that point. So it's really good for making things go right to another point, even if you don't know exactly the size of it. We can also. It's also O is the, is the alias. And so we have a couple other layers here. We have erase and layer. So if I do erase, it asks me, do I want to erase a source object after I offset it? So if I say yes, watch what happens. If I say, I want my distance to be one, I pick this line, I go there. The original one disappeared. I usually don't do that. Um, I usually like to just leave it there. Um, Usually I don't need to erase it. If I do, it's easy to just erase. So I usually use that, that erase setting to no. You can see I can pick it from the list or I can just type in the options also. Layer is another interesting one. So if I do L for layer, now do I want to offset it to the source layer? So whatever layer it's already on or the current layer. So I'm going to pick current. And since my current layer is the same as the source layer, it's not going to do anything. I'm just going to get out of it and change my current layer to the center line, to the center layer. Now when I offset, and I do an inch, I'm going to pick this line and go over here. You can see now this line is on the center layer because that's my current layer. So that's a good way if you had everything started on one layer and you offset it to a new layer. It'll carry the new layer property, so you don't have to change that later on. And that's the offset command.